Hi everybody, this is Mr. Peterson and I'm going to show you a couple tricks that you can use your camera roll for to help you be creative and make something new out of a photo that you may have taken. So I'm going to get started by clicking on the camera or the photos app and you'll notice that I have a picture that is up um, that was just a basic wall plate that I chose from you know my office. What I'm going to do in the upper right corner, you can't see it but it's there, trust me, you'll see it on yours, is hit the edit button. When I tap edit, you'll see all these options pop up on the right hand side for adjusting my pictures and my images. On the left hand side, I have filters I can apply or I can crop images over here. But today I want to focus on this triple dot in the upper right corner, which is going to bring up my options menu. And the one that I want to focus on is markup, right? So there's a little pen tool here I'm going to tap. You'll see that a palette shows up in the upper right corner. It might look like this, so I may have to drag it down a little bit and open it up, but I have a few pen tools that I can choose from and colors that I can utilize. So I'll go through the pen tools quick, show you the difference between them, and then um, you know just give you a couple tips. So the first tool here, if I tap on it, right, you can see that it, it pops open whichever one that I want to use. And if I tap on it a second time, I can choose from the thickness of my pen tool or I can choose the opacity. Opacity is kind of like making it more of a highlighter versus something that is uh, a dark color. So I'm going to choose this first tool and just draw. That's my line. Highlighter, that's what it looks like. The third one is a crayon that you can see looks like, you know, very crayonish. And then I have my, pen, my eraser, which if I choose pixel eraser, I can erase part of it. Uh, object, object eraser erases the whole thing I drew. I also have a selector right here that if I circle my stuff I can make it bigger or smaller or I can move it around I should say. Um, I can also then uh, you know go back and, and undo or erase that. Uh, I even have a ruler that if I choose to do a smaller line I can draw very straight lines using my ruler. If I draw right on the edge I can move my ruler, two fingers, adjust it, that type of stuff. So that gives me my options for my ruler. I'm going to tap on ruler to get rid of it. Uh, and now what I'd like to do is just uh, show you really quick your color choices. You can use the color picker tool here, which will let you choose any color on your screen if you want to match it, or you can choose from spectrum or sliders or wherever else you may want to. So you have choices of, oh my God, many, many, many colors. You can even add shapes and things like that to your drawing. So um, once you do any of your drawings, I'll just do that, and I hit done. I now have a marked up image that allows me to create something different from a photo that I took. So uh, hopefully this markup tool helps you create some new interesting uh, things using your iPad or even just to allow you to show some um, people how to do other things by taking a photo uh, and marking it up. So I hope you found this uh, instructive. Good luck creating. Talk to you next time.